Trey has earned the president's seal of approval. Maybe he's in line for a cabinet position. Let's not get carried away, Saxton. He should at least get an invite to the White House. You've known the president for a long time, Cole. You've been to the White House yet? No, but he's a busy guy. I'm sure he'll get around to inviting me. That's my ring and my championship. I hate you, Brooklyn. What? Hey, it's been a while. How's it going? I'm great. I'm on vacation at the beach, which is why no one's been able to reach me. I'm trying to disconnect, you know? Oh, that's good to hear. I only have a minute, so I'll make this quick. I just got some amazing news. We're going into the WWE Hall of Fame together. Really? Wow, I I'm shocked. I mean, I thought it would happen someday, but definitely not this fast. They didn't say this, but I'm assuming they want to capitalize on my crossover appeal as host of ANTHM. I'm sure that's it. I know we didn't expect our careers to end the way they did, but it's nice to know we accomplished enough to go into the Hall of Fame. And more importantly, we're going in together just like it's always been. Yeah, it is nice. Hey, I gotta run. Don't relax too much. You know what they say about idle hands. Ooh, I gotta work that into tonight's show. Congrats. You too. Ooh, I wish I could see Brooklyn's reaction. Early, you always were an overachiever. You here to demand your rematch? Because I have no problem beating you again tonight. There's not gonna be a rematch. You're giving up that easily? No, there's not going to be a rematch because you're going to announce your retirement tonight. <laughs> That's news to me. It's why I wanted to find you first thing, so you could start writing your big farewell speech. But that kind of emotional garbage should actually come easily to you. I mean, if you get stuck, you could just borrow something from your earlier writing. You've probably asked yourself a million times, why? Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is, we did, but we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we didn't feel we could give you the life you deserved. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Love always, your mom and dad. That's right. I found out you wrote that little piece of fiction kicking off 20 years of lies to your best friend. His real parents are dead, and you've been stringing him along this entire time, making him think they're alive just so you'd have one friend in your depressing life. You never told him the truth, even when he continued to pathetically leave two empty seats for them that would never be filled. Why? Why are you doing this? The why doesn't really matter. Right now, you should be more concerned with the what, as in what could happen next. I could expose you and all your lies, destroying your life, your reputation, and most of all, your friendship with Trey. Or you can retire immediately and I'll make your secret my secret. But one way or another, it's happening tonight. I know walking away for 15 hours. Hope everyone's still with us. But uh, I think that pretty much sums everything up, right? Yeah, I think we covered it all. And there's only one thing left to do. List, please. <laughs> it's time to cross off one final list item together. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Shoot, I think I forgot a pen. Seriously? I've got one you can use. I'm sure someone else in this arena has a spare pen, so you can go sit down. Take it easy. I just wanted to come up here in front of the world to say congratulations and finally put our differences behind us. I would never do anything to take away from your special night that you so rightfully deserve. Trey, even your birth parents are here, which is amazing. Stand up, please. But before you finish up, there's just one thing I want to mention that you left out of your speech. You see, Red wasn't 100% honest about what led to her retirement and later her best friends. In fact, it turns out she has a little secret, which is the real reason she walked away from WWE. You have to do something. She's going to ruin everything. I'm sorry, but I'm done hiding this for us. It's over. What really happened was I found out the truth behind this secret, and she didn't want me to tell anyone. So she chose to retire instead. 
but I couldn't sit back and let her get away without everyone knowing the real Red. So let's start with this. That lovely older couple in the audience, they're not Trey's parents. I know, because they're fakes I hired to be here. That letter you got that said they were coming tonight, also a fake. But if you want to see your real parents, I can make that happen. Here they are. Yeah, that pretty much says it all. And look at the date there. They were already long gone by the time we were in high school. Which makes you wonder, Trey, how could they have written you a letter? Maybe someone else wrote it to try to manipulate you into doing whatever they wanted. And maybe that person was so miserable and lonely, they had to resort to something morbid like that to ensure they always had a friend at their side. But who would do such a terrible thing? Certainly not your so-called best friend, right? Is this true? We're not finished here. If you come any closer, I Red and Brooklyn are going back and forth, taking out years of frustration on each other. Looks like Red's got the upper hand for now. Red with the tackle. And now both women are down. So far, these two have been matching each other move for move. One of them needs to somehow gain an inch. And there you see Samoa Joe watching this heated battle. I think he's headed out here to provide that edge Brooklyn needs. Trey nails him from behind. He was ready to stop him. Obviously, there's no way to contain the disdain these two Ooh. have for each other. The so ring certainly can't contain him. Maybe an entire arena won't contain him either. We may be witnessing absolute mayhem, guys. Planet. Setting up boom. again. Boom, boom, boom. Trey manages to get Samoa Joe down, but for how long? Wait, what's Trey doing? I think he's going to put Joe inside the trunk of that car. He's going to try to. Joe's dead weight. Well, that's one way to stop Samoa Joe from interfering. Yeah, assuming that trunk is strong enough to contain Joe and his enhanced arm. It looks like it'll do the job, for now at least. Red and Brooklyn are finally recovering after we cut away to see what was happening backstage between Trey and Samoa Joe. I'm just glad that thanks to Trey, we're going to get a definitive winner in this match. Yeah, as long as one of them can make it back in the ring before the 10 count. And they both do. Neither of them are ready for this match to end. For nearly a decade, the Divas title is the pinnacle for women's wrestling. And it's back up for grabs tonight. Now, Michael, you and I were there to call a final defense of this title at Roadblock in 2016. And I am excited to call it again right here tonight. the kidneys. Golly. Boom, what impact. What have we got here? She's taking charge here. She's executing on her plan perfectly. Man, she's got to get herself together here. Oh, jeez. Take all the wind out of you. Ooh, what impact. This match is wearing her down. She needs to turn the tide here. Nice body kick. Kick! A striking blow. Big reversal. Boom! Running FTO plants him. Nicely done. Boom! Boom! 
She's also achieved a childhood dream in capturing the WWE Divas. Years in both cases. Full disclosure, I think we're looking at the newest members of the WWE Hall of Fame class. Brooklyn and Samoa Joe have been unstoppable from both a mental and physical standpoint since the moment they joined forces. Red and Trey would have a hard time stopping them if they were at full strength, and we know they're not even close to that. And there you see Red and Brooklyn facing off. There is so much history between these two. We're talking decades of hostility. I don't know if it'll ever end, but we'll get at least some kind of resolution after tonight's contest is over. We're not sure who's going to start the match tonight. It actually looks like Brooklyn and Samoa Joe are discussing that right now. Apparently, it'll be Samoa Joe and Trey. Brooklyn's going to make Red wait to get her hands on her. Yet another calculated move from the American hero. This is it. Here we go. WrestleMania is often called the showcase of the immortals. But Red and Trey aren't here to showcase their immortality. They're here to try to save it by retaining their spots in the WWE Hall of Fame. The fact that Red and Trey are even fighting alongside each other after Brooklyn Von Braun destroyed their original career-defining list and nearly did the same thing to their friendship just proves their bond is unbreakable. They truly are a package deal. While I agree with you on that, you have to consider what I said earlier. There's no way Red and Trey are 100 or even 50% after the brutal attack just two nights ago. Mark my words, that will be a factor at some point in this career-defining match. Big punch finds its mark. DDT! Samoa Joe looking a little startled right now. Right to the side of the face. Harsh impact. I don't think he wants to be in that corner, Byron. Yeah, but he's not moving, Michael. Good night. Running knee. He continues to press forward. He's looking relentless. Absolutely spiked. DDT. After this match, the championship will finally have a home and we'll have a new champion. Oh, right off the turnbuckle. Face first. Trey escapes the Yurinagi, and now he's got Samoa Joe in the Coquina Clutch. Red takes Brooklyn down. Hold on. Is this actually happening? It is. Red and Trey of Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe locked in their own submission hold. After everything that's happened among these four adversaries, this feels like the perfect ending. Don't get ahead of yourself. They need to actually finish them off. Can Red and Trey do the unthinkable? Will Brooklyn and Samoa Joe give up? They tapped. It's over. Red and Trey have pulled off the impossible and ensure that they will forever be honored in the WWE Hall of Fame. This match takes place 20 times and on 19 of those occasions, Brooklyn and Samoa Joe get the win, but not tonight. This was special. This was your night, Red and Trey. Congratulations for the second time on your Hall of Fame induction.
This might have been our first time seeing one of your matches in person, but we were always watching on TV. We're proud of you, son. Can I, I, I still call you that? Yeah. We have a lot of catching up to do. I'm sorry about that. We all are. It's okay. We, we, we have something for you. There's some maintenance guy from the arena was selling it online. It wasn't cheap. Luckily, we've gotten good at puzzles in our old age. Oh my gosh! I thought I lost you, but you're back. There's one thing left on there we need to finish crossing off. <laughs> it appears that the list has somehow been salvaged. Red and Trey can now pick up where they left off two nights ago. Tonight, we witnessed the unexpected. An unexpected victory. An unexpected reconciliation. And finally, the unexpected return of what some might think is just an old scrap of paper. But it was more than that to Red and Trey. It's what led them to this very moment that to them was expected all along. They may not have known how they'd end up here, but they knew when they created that list that this was their destiny. Well said, Michael. Soak every bit of this in. Red and Trey, you deserve it. When I defeated my lifelong nemesis to capture this championship, the same championship I dreamed of winning as a young girl, it was an amazing feeling. But after that wore off, I was consumed by a range of different emotions, ones that I hadn't felt in a very long time. Satisfaction, relief, peace of mind, the fire, that drove me throughout my career to come out here and fight on a nightly basis was suddenly gone. I went from thinking what's next to what's left. And I realized that after crossing off the most elusive item on the list, the answer was not much. Because I accomplished everything I set out to do and way more. So I had to be honest with myself. If I kept going, everything after would feel like a letdown. And that's not how I want to live my life or remember my career. So with all that being said, I'm here tonight. to relinquish the Divas Championship and announce my retirement from WWE effective immediately. Is this actually happening? Unfortunately, I, I think it is. Now, I know this is probably shocking and some of you might be disappointed or upset, but this isn't necessarily a bad thing. I've lived this part of my life to the fullest, and now it's time for me to go explore other challenges. And who knows, maybe I'll try acting again. <laughs> you all saw how my only other audition went. Can't go worse than that, right? <laughs> Finally, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for supporting me for all these years. Please continue to back the next women who take my place, who I am certain will be stronger, more athletic, and hopefully a little less temperamental than I was. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's it. Thanks, everyone. I'm not really sure what to say. I'm stunned. I think we all are. No one was expecting this. Uh, thank you, Red. Yes, thank you. And we wish you all the best.